Good day. Uh, ngayong araw, nandidiscuss naman natin is about Bernoulli's Differential Equations. Okay? So, if napanood niyo yung video ko about um, integrating factors, ako yun doon sa uh, first order linear differential equations, okay? Itong Bernoulli's Differential Equation is isa rin integrating factors. Kaya lang, hindi siya linear first order degree. Okay? Okay? So, ito, sinulat ko na dito sa whiteboard ko, kaagad yung mga formulas, okay? So, just like, um, medyo similar yung forma nito dun sa linear first order differential equation na integrating factors, okay? But somehow, may konting pagkakaiba, okay? So, dito, uh, yung Bernoulli's differential equation is eto dy over dx plus p of x y equals to q of x y to the power of n okay so please remember na doon sa na doon sa ano um, na doon sa integrating factors first order, order linear differential equation wala itong y to the power of n so ibig sabihin y to the power of 0 siya and same thing, yung p of x and q of x are functions of x. And then yung integrating factor na multiply mo is e to the power of, instead of e to the power directly of p of x dx, meron na siyang 1 minus n. So yun yung pagkakaiba nila. Sa forma, uh, merong y to the power of n. Sa integrating factors na multiply mo dito sa formula, eto din. Ma, uh, meron din pagkakaiba. Magmultiply ka ng 1 minus n. And then, sa, ano, sa final na sagot, ano naman yung uh, resulta? So, the same thing, instead na y lang, yung katabi ng integrating factor mo, is equal to uh, the integral of qx, i, x, dx plus c. Okay? So, pwede rin, Itong forma na to dun sa, ano, sa first order uh, linear differential equation. Um, integrating factors. Qx, Ix din yun. Kaya lang dito, meron na lang, meron ding y is equal to 1 minus n. Okay? So, meron ng 1 minus n. Okay? So, please remember na kapag 0, na kapag 0, if n is equal to 0, then you take it as uh, linear first order differential equation. Okay? So, eto. Okay? So, this is a more general. Uh, Bernoulli's equation is more general. Okay? So, same thing. If baliktad, instead na dy over dx, dx over dy yung nandun, so, ito rin yung formulas. The same. dx over dy is plus p of y x plus q of y x to the power of n. Here, py, qy are functions of y. And then, yung integrating factors mo, ibaliktad mo lang yung ano. Okay, so, dapat, ano to siya? Sorry. So, this are supposed to be py, uh, dy. Sorry. So, this is py, dy. Okay? Uh, pay correct na lang. So, i to the power of y is equal to e, 1 minus n, P of y, dy. So, instead na x, y dito ang integrating factors. Kapag yung y, dy yung nasa ibaba. And then, instead of y, x na. X na ang magiging, ano niya. Uh, yung katabi ng integrating factor. So, x to the power of 1 minus n multiplied by i of y is equal to integral of q of y, i of y, dy plus the constant. Okay? So, sana naiintindihan. Sana, ano? Okay, so, ito yung mga formulas. Okay? So, maybe, without uh, further ado, uh, let's have an example. Okay? So, let's have our first example. Okay? So, I will erase this one.
So, let us consider this differential equation. Okay? Ito yung masyadong obvious. Okay? Uh, here, ma-identify na natin directly saan si P of X and saan si uh, Q of X. So, ito si P of X. Ito si 4X. Uh, ito si P of X. At ito naman, si Q of X. Okay? So, Gagawin lang natin yung formula as a template. Okay? So, we have the integrating factor. Siyempre, dy over dx. So, yung integrating factor natin is e i of x. Is equivalent to e to the power of p. Siyempre, p of x. The p of x here is c 4 x. And then, okay, for Okay, meron ta meron pa tayong ano. Okay, so erasein ko muna to. Meron pang meron pa tayong kulang. Okay? Ano pa? Yung kulang natin is identify natin si L. Ang katabi ni Q of x doon mo makikita ang n. So it should be y to the power of n. So our n here is 5, okay? So tatlo na yung tata, uh, tatlo na yung uh, hahanap ay identify mo muna bago ka makasolve yung q of x, q of x, at saka yung n. Okay. So here, uh, maybe let's proceed with our solving. So we have uh, the integrating factor of uh, the okay, so the integrating factor of i of x is equivalent to the e to the power of to the power of 1 minus n integral integral of ano p of x ano ba yung uh, p of x uh, e to the ano uh, e to the power of p of x dx okay sorry um 1 minus n, okay, p of x dx, okay, na, na, yan. Okay, so identify na natin si px, which is 4x, and then we have e to the power of 1 minus 5, uh, p of x is 4x dx, okay. So, ix is equal to e to the negative 4. Okay. Then, integrate mo to. So, uh, 4x, so magiging 2x squared. Okay. Huwag mo munang lagyan ng c. Sabihin nyo, dapat may c pa, sir. Sa integrating factor, so huwag mo munang lagyan ng c. Okay. So, e to the 8x squared. So, that is your... That is your integrating factor. Okay. So, hindi mo na kailangan i-multiply ito ka agad dito. Okay? So, uh, doon tayo sa template. Okay? Para mas madali. Yung template natin na solution for, for this is y to the power of 1 minus n. Okay? And then, i of x is equal to integral of q of x i x d x. Yan. Okay, mas madali. Okay, so, y to the power of 1 minus n is y to the negative 4. And then, you multiply it by integrating factor na e to the power of negative e x squared is equal to qx. Anong qx natin? 8x uh, is equivalent to 8x. Okay, saan na? Okay. Uh, e to the power of negative 8x squared dx. Okay, so integrable ba to? Okay, so tingnan mo natin if integ integra integrable, integrable ba to? Okay, so we know na yung e to the power of u, diba, integrate mo yung e u to the power du is equivalent yan kay e u plus c. Okay, so here, Yung e natin, ang yung u natin dito is negative 8x squared. 
So, yung P yun natin, is i-differentiate natin itong negative 8x squared. Yung exponent ng E, so, we have negative 16x. So, from that, yan, makita natin na hindi negative 16 yung katabi niya. So, anong gagawin natin? I gagawa tayo ng paraan para mag maging negative 16 yung katabi niya. So, magiging Uh, so, supposed to be negative 16 x e negative 8 x squared dx. So, ilabas natin, multiply natin ng negative 1 half. Nasa ganun, pag minultiply mo itong negative 1 half sa negative 16, babalik pa rin siya kay 8. So, therefore, equivalent to at ito. Okay? Equivalent pa rin sila. So, therefore, ang uh, mangyayari, it will become y to the negative 4, e to the negative 8x squared is equivalent to negative 1 half. Okay? So, since magiging e to the power of u plus c siya, so ito, negative 8x squared, magiging, um, uh, mo, ito na, yung itong whole na to, negative 16x, e to the negative 8x squared, magiging Uh, yung integral niya is e to the power of negative 8x squared na. Then, you add c. Okay. So, pwede na itong sagot. Pwede nyo na itong sagot. Okay. But somehow, what if nasa situation kayo, na nasa board exam kayo, for example, then wala ito dun. Okay. So, pwede rin na uh, Nag-multiply ako both sides ng y to the fourth power. Nang sa ganun, nawala itong y to the negative 4. So, posible maging ganito. Okay? Multiply natin ng y to the fourth on both sides. So, mawawala si y negative 4. So, magiging e to the negative 8x squared minus, uh, is equal to negative 1 half. Okay? y to the power of 4, 8, e to the 8x squared plus cy to the 4. Okay. So, ano pa? Pwede, pwede rin yung ilipat. Okay? So, pwede rin na, na ilipat tong ito, dito. So, magiging ano siya? Okay? So, uh, so, maybe ilipat natin la, yung ito, ito dito para c na lang yung sabi so pwede rin maging uh, e to the 8x squared plus 1 half y to the 4 e to the negative 8x squared plus c y to the 4 okay so maybe uh, gamit tayo ng ibang board So, this is just the simplification process class, okay? So, this is just the simplification process nito. Kasi baka uh, yung exam nyo is multiple choice tapos wala, dit, wala ito doon sa sagot. So, pusi, pwede kasing mangyari na naisimplify. Okay, so para linear siya. Okay, yan. Sana malinaw, no? So, hindi pa tapos yung pag-simplify natin. So, dapat ma-equate Okay, maging equal to CY for to. Okay, kasi nilipat ko. Okay, yung ginawa ko, ulitin ko. Nilipat ko yung negative uh, one half, Y to the fourth, E, negative eight X squared dito sa kabila. Okay, kasi... Pwede nating i-factor out tong e to the negative 8x squared. Okay? So, mangyayari, factor out natin ito yung e to the negative 8x squared. Magiging 1 plus 1 half y to the fourth is equal to c y to the fourth. Okay? So, pwede rin itong ito yung sagot mo. Okay? Baka ito nasa choice na ng teacher nyo. Okay? So, anyway, this kung ako yung, uh, okay? So, this will be enough for an answer. Okay? Ito yung 
Bernoulli's uh, first example natin sa Bernoulli's differential equation. Okay? So, ulitin ko. I-identify nyo saan si Px at Qx, ano yung n na ginamit nyo. It, here, your n is equals to 5. Okay? And then, ilagay nyo lang dito sa template natin na formulas. Okay? So, that is our Example number one. Okay. So this is this is uh, already an acceptable answer. Okay. And this might I think is a better better answer. Ito. Okay. So anything, whether you simplify this or not, it is already an acceptable answer to this. Differential equation. Okay, so maybe we'll have our second example. Okay, so since video naman itong, since video naman ito, okay, so pwede nyo lang ulitin kung saan uh, portion nyo hindi masyadong naintindihan. Okay, so let's have our second example. <coughs> So, let's have a second example. Okay. So, maybe we'll do the, the other way around. What if baliktad? Okay, yung nasulat ko ganina, kanina. Okay, yan. Oh, sorry. Okay, yan. So, what if yung uh, power is nandoon na sa x. Okay. So, if you remember yung nasulat ko kanina sa board, so, instead of y, si x na yung may power. Kasi, uh, applicable lang yan kapag nabaliktad yung sitwasyon ni dx at saka ni dy. So, ang identify natin is, instead na si px, q of x, and q of x, is si py and q of y na. So, dito, si py natin is 2. And then, si qy natin is it 2y, okay? And then, the integrating factors natin, so if I remember it correctly, okay? So, if, so, iy is e to the power of 1 minus n integral of py dy. So, yung integral, integrating factor natin na si iy, okay, is ito, okay? So, yung n natin ha, is 8 dito kasi yung katabi ni y, okay? So, yan. So, yung iy natin is equivalent to e to the power of 1 minus n, 1 minus 8, ito lagay natin is integral of py. Ang py natin is si 2y dy. Okay. So, yung mangyayari, magiging ano siya, e to the negative 7, this is y squared. Yan. So, yung integ integrating factor natin is e to the negative 7 y squared. Okay? So, madali lang. So, paano natin, nasa, nakuha na natin si iy. So, ano pang gagawin natin? So, ilagay natin sa, sa template na solution. 
So, magiging y to the power of n. Okay, y to the power of 1 minus n. I know, x pala. Dapat nasa x to. X to the, kasi nabaliktad yung sitwasyon ni y at ni, ni x eh. Kasi dx yung nasa taas, dy yung nasa baba. x to the y minus n multiplied by the integrating factor. Okay? So, isulat ko muna dito. Okay? Isulat ko muna dito yung general solution. x to the 1 minus n yun. Uh, the integrating factor iy is equivalent to qy iy iy dy. Okay? Yung iy natin, ito. Lagay lang natin. Yung 1 minus n natin is negative 7. Iy is e to the negative 7. Y squared. Yung qy natin is si 2y. Yung iy natin is si e. Okay. Okay, may mali tayo. Dapat may x tong katabi. Okay, sorry, nalimutan ko. Okay, so palitan ko na lang yung ano, yung okay, problem. Dapat may katabi tong x kasi kung 2y lang to, hindi to masolve kasi hindi to di Abernoli. Dapat may katabi siyang y. Okay, uh, x. So, yan. Okay, 2y dapat. So, both 2y, cpy, at saka cqy. So, 2e to the power of negative 7y squared dy. Okay? So, okay? So, alam naman natin, okay? eu du is equal to eu plus c. Okay? So, the integral of eu du is equal to eu plus c. Here, ang u natin, Dito is si negative 7y squared. So, si du natin is si negative 14y. Hindi negative 14y yung katabi niya. So, ang, ang gagawin natin, ano gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin is, i, ano natin? Um, gawin natin negative 14y yung nasa loob. So, ano bang imumultiply mo kay negative 14 para maging 2? Para equivalent lang sila. Okay? So, imu sa akin, imultiply ko ng negative 1 over 7. Ayan. Negative ko ng negative 1 over 7, imultiply mo by negative 14, magiging 2y siya. So, this equivalent lang siya. Okay? Pa for the sake lang na mas masolve natin yung uh, differential niya. So, x na negative 7, e to the negative 7 y squared is equivalent to negative 1 7 masolve na to, magiging e u na siya, so yung e na ito yung e, ito yung u, so magiging e to the negative 7 y squared plus c na siya, so this is already an acceptable answer okay, so there is a possibility na wala din ito sa choices, possibly na simplify, okay, possibly na simplify lang siya, so by simplification process, pwede kong Okay, pwede. This is an acceptable answer. Pwede kong ilipat dito si yung nasa kabila. 1 over 7 e negative 7 y squared is equal to c. And then, i-multiply ko by x to the negative 7. So, ano mangyayari? Maging e to the negative 7 uh, y squared na lang plus 1 over 7 e to the negative 7 y squared is equal to c x to the 7. Okay? Okay, sorry. Maybe ilagay ko doon sa kabilang board para malinaw. Okay, so I repeat. So, this is already an acceptable answer. But somehow, you can simplify this one. Okay? So, baka so nagsasagot kayo, wala sa choice yung sagot. So, there is a possibility na nasimplify yung differential equations natin. Okay? Possibly na simplify. Kaya, 
posible wala yan sa choices, for example, okay? So, please allow me. So, it could be heat this. Okay. So, remember, this is just a simplification process. So, what I did, pwede natin i-multiply ng x to the power of 7, both sides, para masimplify. Kasi baka masakit sa mata yung ano, x to the negative 7. Ayan. So, pag na-multiply na yan, mawala na tong x minus 7 times x to the 7, x to the 0, which is equivalent to 1. So, magiging e to the negative 7 y squared is equal to negative 1 over 7, x to the 7, e negative 7 y squared plus c x to the 7. Okay. So, paano pa? Pwede masimplify. So, ilipat ko dito sa kabila. So, magiging e negative 7 y squared plus 1 over 7 x to the 7, e negative 7, y squared is equal to c, x7. So, paano ba? Okay? Kung hindi pa to, hindi pa rin, so pwede rin mas na oversimplify pa. So, pwede na factor out si negative e to the negative 7, y squared. Kaya, maging e to the negative 7, y squared plus 1 over 7, x to the 7, e to the, wala na pala to. Okay? Kasi na factor out na, is equivalent to c, x to the 7. Okay? So, pwede na rin, uh, pwede tong uh, mas simplified na sagot. Okay? So, maybe we will have additional examples in the next set of videos.